But this obsession ruined your father. I saw something. Something I... I can't explain. Now I understand what Dad was going through. It's all fairy tales. Nonsense. Don't go down this road. You know where it leads. It's the only thing that makes sense to me now. I'm going to find the Prophet's tomb. <laughs> The obsession of Lara Croft has never ever been lost. When she latches onto something, she'll never ever let go. I suppose, like, people are automatically going to assume that, you know, it's essentially the Holy Grail. And, uh, you know, when has the Holy Grail not been done in an adventure sort of uh, action thing? Sure but, you know, this is Tomb Raider. This is the franchise that sort of the picked it all off. Now, obviously, you had Indiana Jones the films. But in terms of action adventure games that are based on exploration trying, and, like, living vicariously through these dangerous situations, uh, you know, Tomb Raider was the other pioneer. Uh, and uh, I, f I think it's really Something funny that it's right. kind of come full circle because people accuse the, uh, the first oh, just of, or the, the, uh, the Tomb Raider reboot of being derivative of the first of the Uncharted games, but you incidentally, someone, you? you know, Uncharted they, they was uh, completely you know, inspired by Tomb Raider. So now, when it comes to the graphics and gameplay and like, Shit, the stories and the uh, focus on character development, it's uh, really, uh, it, it's really, it really has come full circle. But that's kind of a good. Thing. Getting back to basics and, you know, when people are, oh shit! <laughs> and, and, and people are realizing, um, it, it's not a bad thing, really. And, uh, you know, Lara Croft was the, was the original Nathan Drake, and all the treasures she, she found and the adventures she had, this is where it all basically started. Like, this is when you could inhabit, you know, this type of character. And it's, uh... Tomb Raider is just a bomb for me. Um, oh, look, look how that's gorgeous. It's just, you know, from, from cold and ice and, and biting winds, now you're in Syria and it's it's warm, it's dusty, and it's. Oh, it's so cute! I'm, I'm actually kind of crying at the moment, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh. The Lost Tomb. Search. The ruins in the cliffs. Oh, girl! Damn. <laughs> she looks like she's suffering a really bad hangover. Oh, look at the baby! Alright. Um. Oh! <laughs> yep, so this uh, Lara definitely knows how to take a lot of bumps and bruises. Half of the, uh, the, the first game was basically her getting injured and, you know, that feeling of, uh, you know, wanting to take care of Lara and just uh, trying to... At heart, like a um, tomb was hidden in the cliffs above one of the forgotten cities. Legend speaks of an oasis where the prophet was laid to rest. Yeah, but the thing is, uh, when it comes to uh, this version of Lara, which is, you know, for all intents and purposes realistic, I uh, I like that. And as much as I do love the uh, the Devil May Care Lara that was in the original games, and, and trust me, I, I I loved her so much. Lara Croft has always been a hero of mine, and no matter what the incarnations, uh, as long as they treat our girl well and they give her something to do. And uh, they have. Like, I don't think Lara has truly Something seen a complete here. inconsistency of her character. Now, I, I know I just said about her uh, being very inconsistent in the re in, in the reboot, but Could this really be as it? long as it comes to that point at which you know Lara is searching for the truth and you know enjoying the uh, the fight and the adventure, that's what it truly matters. Like, her determination is like one of her best attributes, and it's also one of her worst because, well. It's also one of her worst because, you know, it's what sort of gets her into trouble. But she adapts to this trouble. And, uh, you know, that sort of uh, MacGyver uh, 
Boy Scout sort of thing. It, it really does translate so well with her. Her her resourcefulness and the fact that, you know, she doesn't rely on anybody to get stuff done. When Lara wants to get a task done or when she needs something, she goes out there and she gets it. She doesn't get anyone to do her dirty work for her. Um, in the previous incarnation of uh, Lara with her two friends, uh, Zip and Alistair, they, they had a function, like, you know, they both provided her with field information, but for the most part, Lara was out there in the field and just doing, uh, you know, all of this, uh, doing all this stuff. Mm. It's some sort of marker. Okay, Isn't so advanced script, Baroscu translation supposed to make it out. to unlock. Huh. Interesting mechanic. Okay, he's shown here. Huh, if only uh, learning miracles. languages was as easy Dad's as this. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. There we are. Another one. It's the prophet speaking with a foreign army. He convinced them to lay down their weapons. Oh, Prophet was a stud. Now, I already have some theories regards, in regards to uh, this organization of Trinity. Do you remember in the very first game when you had uh, Jacqueline Natler? And she was the one who wanted to uh, bring about the Third Age. Uh, the one who was all about, you know, resurfacing Atlantis and taking over the world and everything like that. Well, she was part of a, a triumvirate. Like, uh, she and one of them was her brother. Another one was, like, a completely different guy. And uh, yeah, there were three of them. These so the Trinity, Triumvirate, uh, looking for power and uh, changing the world. I could be completely wrong, Trinity. but uh, <laughs> Trinity. Uh, yeah, I could be completely wrong, but uh, this whole thing about you know Trinity, mm. I, I am thinking that perhaps Natla will uh, pointing to something will make hidden. an appearance in this brand Goodbye. new franchise. I'll mark down the locations. Okay, so click for the map. Okay, use X to mark any map item with a player beacon. Player be beacons. Blue shaft of light instincts. Okay, so it's a coin cache. Ooh, money. Okay, so let's check the map again. Okay, so those are murals. Awesome. Monolith. Alright, so uh, I suppose we go for forward. He led his followers through the desert to the oasis. So I think we've learned enough briefly. <sighs> I do like how she's uh, managed to keep her, uh, her pickaxe. That's awesome. It's a bit of a shame that she doesn't already have her bow and arrow. But then again, you know, this is all about context. And, you know, why would Lara have a bow and arrow in this sort of situation? But that's pretty cool. Oh, look the way the light just pours in. It's so bright. I'm starting to feel the tears coming in my eyes again, guys. I'm sorry, it's just... Oh. <laughs> this game is pure eye candy. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I am definitely impressed. <laughs> this was certainly worth the year or so long wait. That's just goddamn sure. So I go over there. Right, so me thinks uh, some climbing is in order. Oop. Just like in the first game, wall scramble. Oh, 
Oh yeah, this definitely does feel like Tomb Raider. Well, I died. <laughs> that was that was random. <laughs> uh, well, first death in the game, guys. That was uh, not as spectacular as I was expecting. Okay, so did anybody else ever like intentionally kill Lara in the game, so, like, like just to see what would happen? You know what? My favorite uh, my favorite death in the game, like would perhaps be in once again the first one. Here. Is when she stepped in the hand inside. of King Midas to uh, solve that golden brick puzzle. That was so wildly inventive and very nightmarish because, you know, she, for all intents and purposes, she was still alive in case of that goal. And, you know, imagine spending an eternity in that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. Yeah, imagine spending an eternity in case of gold. That's just. That is very frightening and very disturbing. Um, yeah, yeah, yes, I'm kind of sick. I am rather sick for, uh, you know, killing Lara off in very inventive ways. But in all honesty, that like that's part of uh, the game's uh, the, the game's creativity. Just like trying to, it really does raise the stakes about what sort of situation Lara finds herself in because you can't go jumping, you know, as I did, you know, you know, blindly Order off a cliff and not expect a problem. consequence. And that's his just people relentlessly until finally confronting them in their hidden oasis. Yeah, you can't go uh, jumping a uh, hop shot of a cliff and like expect uh, expect no consequences because come on. This is a, a small woman sort of climbing all these enormous structures, very enormous unstable oh, structures. And uh, yeah, you gotta have that element of danger. Um, so yes. Quite, quite so. This is a high adventure game, but you know, if you put a foot wrong, <laughs> don't expect not to be punished. <laughs> I like it though. Damn it. Come on. Oh, fabulous. <laughs> okay, that was cheap. Oh, look at those scorpions. Yes, if you are afraid of bugs, this is probably giving you anxiety. Oh, it just went to his mouth. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> she really doesn't seem as destructive uh, as the old Lara used to be. Whenever she enters these, uh, there was a uh, enters these catacombs and something soldiers, like, uh, usually the old Lara would pilgrims. destroy these places. But the this Lara Trinity. seems a little more. Uh, Oh, I thought, that, I thought that thing was waving its hands there. <laughs> it's like going, <laughs> look at me. No. Gift of arms. Oh, nice. Okay, so there's like uh, mini treasures. Yes, this Lara seems uh, very much more like an archaeologist. As an archaeologist, the last thing you want to do is uh, destroy historical sites of major importance. Ooh. My son, the Order of Trinity has received word that the Prophet's followers are building a great tomb at an oasis outside Berea. But more upsetting, while we thought they were building the tomb for their Prophet, Trinity now believes he still lives. We have learned he is preaching his heresy among the local citizens, drawing more to him daily with his tales of how he conquered death. He is a liar, and a heretic, claiming miracles that come only from the Divine. You swore he was dead. Have you failed us? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, somebody was definitely in trouble. Oh, there's another mural. The Prophet, slain by the Order of Trinity. Oh, something major happened here. Oh my god, look at the uh, the Roman armor. That's cool. Okay. 
Okay, so the objective is that way. So let's go, let's do a little more explore. Oh my god. Jesus. Can you imagine what happened in here? Oh. Goodness me. 